In this video, I'm going to take you through how you can plan your promotions using the intuitive Forza Promotion Calendar. The Promotion Calendar gives you a high-level view of all the different promotions you're executing against your customer base at any given time. I can see my entire plan for 2021 in this view. On here, I can see the different types of promotions we're running, whether these are nationwide chain-specific promotions, whether these are promotions that we're running against specific customer segments, whether they're VIPs or small businesses or other types of segments I've created. And then I can see account-specific promotions, which is where I'm targeting a specific outlet or, again, a specific chain that I'm trying to push new product to at a certain time of year. I can see all the different promotions that are running for this year, but I can swap between my years. I'm a week and month view to get a much more drilled down granular view. For any of these promotions, I can click into it, and this will give me a high level overview of what we're actually doing with that promotion. So I can see for this VIP promotion here, we're uh, promoting all of our alcoholic beverages. We've got a 25% off tactic. And then I can see the current performance of that promotion, including the currency that I'm running that promotion in as well, if I'm using multiple currencies. From here, I could go and click and edit the promotion to go to the designer, but I'll cover that in another video. I can also obviously delete the promotion and change some basic types like uh, the promotion type, the status, and the time that we're executing this promotion. Directly from the calendar, obviously, I can also start dragging my promotions around. So perhaps, actually, I want to have this promotion running all year long. I can simply drag it and then extend the time frame so that it has a much longer time period. And whenever I do this, it will recalculate all of the additional information we need to make sure that, performant, uh, that promotion is performant as possible. Now, I'm looking at this calendar from a high-level company-wide view, but I could use the filters and the search to really drill down into various different views that I might want to create for myself. So for instance, I might want to only look at uh, promotions of a specific type. I might want to look at only promotions that are um, active at this point in time right now. I might want to look at promotions that are using a certain budget. When I'm actually trying to balance my budgets and funds, I can start drilling down into those specific promotions as well. Of course, I can also look for promotions that are targeting specific products or specific product categories. And this is really useful when you're looking at things like promotion clash and you want to make sure that your alcoholic beverage promotions aren't overlapping with each other, aren't clashing. And then if I want to start looking at just account specific promotions or chain specific promotions, I can do that using the account filter as well. I also have the ability to filter by revenue and performance. So I can check out promotions that are meant to drive us uh, really high predicted revenue. I can check out promotions that are actually generating revenue or not generating revenue. And as I do these and as I create these filters, I can actually go and create a saved filter selection. So I can create as many of these as I like. And then when I come to this calendar, I can swap between my views seamlessly and easily. Of course, I can also sort my promotions. So I can, this is really useful, obviously, when you're trying to find a specific promotion or when you're trying to find those best performing or those worst performing promotions so that you can start copying what they're doing right and start improving what they're doing wrong. Along with our filters, we have our group by area. So right now we're grouped by category, which is these nationwide promotions and these segment promotions. But I could also group by, for instance, status. So I can see uh, my active promotions, my canceled, my approved, my completed, my planned, for anything that's still going through that, that workflow process of not being yet active in store. And uh, type, but I can also group by product. And this is really interesting. So when I group by product, now this is where I can see all the different promotions that are targeting specific products or product categories. So I can see here at the top, all of my soft drink promotions or all the promotions that are targeting soft drinks. Then I can see all my alcoholic beverage promotions. And you might get duplicates here because you might have a promotion that's targeting both soft drinks and alcoholic beverages. So now I can easily split those out and see if there's any clash or overlap. Frozen foods, branded gondolas, and then individual products as well. So uh, really easy to see where the overlap is and where the clash is. But perhaps I wanted a, a better indicator of where my promotion clash is happening. I can use a sidebar here to turn my promotion clash filter off or on. So right now it's off, I'm gonna turn it on. And when I do that, I immediately get these little lightning notifications on the left. And these lightning notifications indicate that there's clash with other promotions. So I can see for this uh, Southeast New Year uh, bundle, there's actually a promotion clash with a number of my other year-long promotions that I've got running at the top there. So I can either choose to ignore that or I can use that to 
uh, make sure that I'm not actually clashing with those products and with those different promotions. So this is really important to make sure I don't uh, cannibalize my, my existing promotions, my existing sales, and I'm running efficiently and accurately with my promotion dollars. So that's how we look at the promotion calendar and get an overview of what's executing and make some, some small changes like moving promotions around. But what if I wanted to create a new promotion? Well, that's really, really easy and simple to do using the calendar. I also have the designer where I can um, go into a bit more detail and have a bit more control. But here, all I really want to do is just start running a new promotion with a couple clicks. So to do that, I use my sidebar. So on the sidebar, I have two options. I can add a promotion or I can actually add a product from the catalog to generate a new promotion. So let's start with the first option. So when I click add a promotion, I get my list of promotion templates, which are pre-configured that I can use, or I've got the full promotion catalog where I can simply copy and paste one of my existing promotions that I know is running well. So let's take a look at the template first. So I'm gonna go and pick this 20% off promotion template. I can drag it into the calendar and this brings up my modal, which is pre-filled. So I only have to add a couple bits of information to finish this promotion. So I'm gonna call this the 20% off promotion, 20 off promotion for Fresh Start, which is one of my target accounts. I'm going to select my Fresh Start account from the account dropdown. And I really can just leave it at that if I want to. I've got the effective period as all year. I can say this is a strategic discount. I've got a number of products pre-selected as part of this template, but maybe I'm only gonna do it on frozen foods. And then I've got the 20% tactic running there as well. I can of course choose an image if I want to. So I'm gonna select my frozen foods image. And then I can simply add the promotion to the calendar. And now we'll see that this new 20% off promotion for Fresh Start has been added at the top here. And if I click into that, I can see the frozen foods and the tactic that I added as well. So really simple, really quick, literally only three clicks and I had a new promotion, but I'm sure we can do it faster than that. So if I go back to my sidebar and if I've got added promotion, and this time I'm gonna select the promotion catalog. So on the promotion catalog, like I said before, you've got all the promotions that are currently running. So I know some of these are working, some of these aren't working so well. So you can filter down the calendar to find those high performing ones. When you find one, you can then use that one uh, to create a brand new promotion. So I've got, let's for instance, have a look at the uh, 2021 VIP nationwide discount. We're gonna drag that on here. And we're gonna call this the 2022 nationwide discount. And we're gonna change the year to start um, in January, 2022. And gonna finish in December, 2022. And just like that, I can copy and clone this promotion uh, for the next year, add that to the calendar. And now if I swap over to 2022, you'll see we've got our new 2022 VIP nationwide discounts running with all of the details from the 2021. And um, that's ready to go. And that was, again, just a single uh, click to add that to the cart. Let's look at the last option. So this is the product catalog. So on the product catalog, I can go in and I can see all the different products that I'm currently actively selling and promoting or trying to, or not necessarily promoting. And I can see my product catalog. I can see my product categories. So I can simply drag and drop one of these products on. So perhaps we're having trouble moving this, uh, this Duke smooth blend. So we wanna start pushing that out to our customers more. So I can again, drag that onto the calendar. And now it pre-fills it with the image, the name of the product that we're promoting, the description, and um, the product here. So all we have to do is select the target. So I'm gonna go for my VIP customer segment and the tactic. So I'm gonna do a, let's say a 25% off discount for this product and add that to the calendar. And again, now you're gonna see this new promotion has been added for the Duke Smooth Blend. We've got the product added, we've got the tactic added, and it's ready and live and active for our field team and our sales team to start selling that and pushing that to customers. So this has been a really high level overview of how you can plan using the Aforza calendar. I hope you agree that it is extremely powerful yet extremely simple to use, especially when you're creating brand new promotions with just a couple of clicks. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can click in and see the promotion designer, and that's where you have more control over the specifics of how a promotion is being run.